This video is a selection of the new and updated features we're excited to share with you from the April 2024 release. The full list of features can be found in the April 2024 version 20.24.4 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month, we're highlighting the following features. Create visualizations with enhanced reporting capabilities with the new Analytics Builder. Navigation and content improvements in Brightspace Community. In Data Hub, end of adoption period for Brightspace Datasets version 9. Migration details for LTI 1.3 Advantage links from a different LTI 1.1 legacy link with external learning tools. With widgets, introduction of the Create Course widget and the custom hosted widget replacement service. And finally, a summary of all the other features this month. Let's take a closer look at this month's features. Introduced in December 2023, version 20.23.12, Analytics Builder is now generally available, allowing users to dig deeper into data and visualizations using Brightspace datasets, BDS, but without the complexity of having to work directly with a data warehouse. Analytics Builder has an easy-to-use visualization interface, a streamlined report creation workflow, enhanced reporting capabilities, global infrastructure support, and better accessibility features than was previously available in Insights Report Builder. Analytics Builder is available on the Insights Portal page to author or view reports based on users' permissions. Additionally, Analytics Builder provides the following capabilities. Start with a template visualization and customize it to be your own. Create, edit, and share your reports, dashboards, and visualizations with other users. Access fresh Brightspace datasets data ready for visualization and schedule reports and leverage row and column level permissions. Navigate to Insights Portal and click the Analytics Builder tab. Click Analytics Builder. You can view your analytics by selecting Dashboards, Analysis, or Datasets. Click an entry to view and edit. The summary is displayed on the right side window. Under Visuals, click Add and select the visual you wish to use. Select More Actions, the icon with three dots, to further refine value entries. Analytics Builder is available to all clients who have purchased the Performance Plus package and is automatically enabled. This feature is dependent on the Can Use Insights Report Builder and Can Manage Insights Report Builder permissions for roles to act as authors, and on Can Use Insights Report Builder permission for roles to act as readers. It is not dependent on any new or existing configuration variables. The improved search in Brightspace Community uses natural language processing AI to iteratively improve the accuracy of search results and uses search synonyms for interchangeable terms, for example, Dropbox and Assignment. Additionally, this new federated search indexes and surfaces content from external sources such as corporate blogs, the Brightspace Tutorials YouTube channel, Brightspace Learning Center, and developer Valence API documentation. In Brightspace Community, click the search icon. Select an industry filter, K-12, higher ed, or corporate, from the drop-down menu. Enter your search term in the text field and press the Enter key. Choose filters by selecting them. You can filter in Search In, Category, and Created Date. Multiple filters can be selected, both in and across filter types. Filters are applied as soon as they are selected. Click the desired search result to navigate to the topic. To perform a search in the specific knowledge base you are in, enter a search term in the Search This Space field. Click the desired result to navigate to that topic. This release also relaunches an improved ASC homepage to enhance the experience of approved support contacts, ASCs. This provides cases created and managed from within Brightspace Community, eliminating the need to redirect to the legacy site. Improved case filters, including escalated cases, open known issues, and open service requests filter options. Provides date filtering and the ability to download cases as CSV files and enables ASCs to self-serve for service requests, allowing them to make org and account team requests without leaving the portal. 
Finally, this release restructures the instructor documentation higher ed knowledge base to organize content into alphabetized tool categories. This new navigation structure will be available in early April 2024. D2L has done our utmost to ensure that this change minimizes breaking any existing URL links to instructor documentation higher ed knowledge base pages. This is only a change to the navigation structure and should not break bookmarked links. The upgrades to Brightspace Community are available to all community members and users. The adoption period for Brightspace Datasets Major Version 9, announced in December 2023, has ended. Version 9 is now the only supported version, and any clients who are still using Version 8 will be automatically migrated as part of this release. Clients using Insights Report Builder must update their data flows, reports, and dashboards to use the datasets impacted by the version update. Anything mapped to BDS version 8 will continue to function, but will have outdated data. The Data Hub part of this feature is available to all core clients. The Insights Report Builder part is available to clients who have the Performance Plus package or who have purchased Brightspace Insights in the previous packaging model. To enable Data Hub, ensure that the Can Access Brightspace Datasets permission is enabled for administrators at the org level, and that d2l.tools.brightspacedatasets.version is set to version 9. New and changed datasets appear the first time the dataset runs after the version update. To enable Insights Report Builder, ensure that the Can Manage Insights Report Builder permission is enabled for administrators at the org level. With this release, the Migration Domain Mapping API enables the migration of legacy LTI links to a different LTI 1.3 Advantage Registration Domain. Additionally, both the Migration Log and the LTI Link Migration Audit Brightspace dataset now include details about these migrations. If a legacy link differs from a 1.3 Registration Domain, the corresponding legacy domain is displayed in the Migration Log. The LTI Link Migration Audit Brightspace dataset now also includes migration details. Field, Legacy Domain. Description. The field for the legacy domain from which the link was migrated is populated if it differs from the registration domain. The field can't be null. Type, and Vargar. Size, 2083. Key, not applicable. Navigate to Course Admin, External Learning Tools, Migration Log. This page displays all jobs for that course. Click a link in the Job ID column to view more details for that job. The External Learning Tools feature implements the following PI item. D9544, LTI 3.1 Subdomain Admin Console. Thank you to all those who put forward this PI suggestion to implement this feature. The External Learning Tools feature is available to all users with Manage LTI Migrations or View LTI Migrations Log permission at the organization and course offering levels, and is automatically enabled for those users. It is not dependent on any additional configuration variables or permissions. This release introduces the Create Course widget, which provides a simplified option for users to create courses quickly without needing access to the course management tool. Using this widget, instructors can quickly create a new course offering directly from their organization homepage. The Create Course widget is automatically enabled for all new Brightspace core customers. Administrators at institutions currently using Brightspace can activate this widget via organization tools. As an administrator, once the Create Course widget has been enabled and added to your homepage, navigate to More Actions, Customize This Widget. Click Add Department. Select your department, prefix, suffix, and course creator role. Click Save. As an instructor, navigate to the Create Course widget and click Create Course. Enter your course name and select a department. Click Next, confirm your details, and then click Create Course. This widget's feature is available to all clients. 
To enable, turn on the Create Course Widget in Organization Tools and enable the Manage Create Course Widget permission for administrators and the View Create Course Widget permission for instructors. This feature is not dependent on any additional configuration variables or permissions. Replacing the custom hosted version of widgets in the Homepage Widget Expansion Pack, this release makes the custom hosted widget replacement service available. This enables the identification and replacement of all instances of custom hosted widgets with equivalent system widgets. It is particularly beneficial for sites where custom hosted widgets are installed on a large number of home pages. The replacement service scans the entire Brightspace site and performs the following actions. Confirm entitlement and tool status. Catalog all affected home pages and courses. Migrate configuration files. Migrate role configurations. Replace custom hosted widgets and uninstall custom hosted widgets. When the service completes all tasks, it sends a notification to the Update Alert section, represented by the bell icon of the Brightspace main navigation bar. This widgets feature is available to all clients who use the custom hosted version of widgets and is automatically enabled for those users. It is not dependent on any additional configuration variables or permissions. Finally, let's take a quick look at the other features for this month's release. Bulk Course Import now is part of Bulk Course Tools. Brightspace Datasets Improvements for April in Data Hub. With Discussions, view attached file feedback for discussion evaluations. And finally, with Learning Outcomes, Bulk Create and Import Outcomes using CSV Import Format. We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As before, you can get the full details of this month's changes in the April 2024 version 20.24.4 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. See you next month.